admittedly, up to this point, Cooking for Husband hasn't been a platform for anything more serious than tasty food and some bear-centric fun. Um, I do, however, want to take the time to honor the memory of someone very important to me. Kim, uh, a close friend who's been a regular guest on the show, lost her mother to ovarian cancer. Kim's mom, Karen Case, was a neighbor and a friend for many years. She fought a good fight for over a decade in her battle against ovarian cancer, finally finding peace July 21st of this year. Today's recipe was a favorite of Karen's, um, a special moment she would share with her family, and today I'm sharing it with you. Uh, while enjoying this episode, please consider supporting the Ovarian Cancer Research Center by following the link provided in the show notes. Now, Karen was a single mom, and so she didn't really need to do all the, like, the fancy, all this kind of stuff to have a special moment with her kids. So, this recipe is very easy. But it's also very special. Pretty much, we're going to start off with some box rice. And pretty much you're just following the directions on the box. You're just going to brown the rice in about two tablespoons of butter. Get it all nice and going. I'm going to add to that About a half a cup of onions. Get that all nice and soft in there as well. I got my water boiling. I'm just gonna put in my bell peppers. Ugh. Oh, it's hot! Get that all nice and sunk in there. Also, to that water, I'm gonna add a good bit of salt. That's pretty much the only flavoring that the uh, bell peppers are going to get. So I want to get them all nice and salty. You're not going to get these too well done. You're just kind of in between actually boiling it and a blanch. So get it all just stirred up. Not quite ready. You'll know they're ready when they turn brown. are looking good, nice and golden brown. So I'm gonna grab half a pound of hamburger meat. Let's get that in there. Two and a half cups of water. Oh yeah. About a half a cup of some stewed tomatoes. that came with the rice. And just get that nice stirred up. I think these guys are going to be done. Place them open side down. Make sure you get all the water out of them. You don't want to Boil yourself to death. And you want these guys to cool down to where you can actually handle them when you're stuffing them with the rice. Whew, it's hot. The rice is about done. It's got a few more minutes to go. Now I made this with... Um, tomatoes and onions, but really you can make it with whatever you want. Um, Karen would come home from work and she would just kind of see what's in the refrigerator and what's fresh and just kind of pile stuff in there. The rice is about done, so I'm going to take it off the heat and let it cool down. In the state that it's in, it's way too hot to be stuffing it into my pepper. I'm going to let it rest here, and I'm going to go help the kids with the homework. All right, the food.
filling is cool. The oven is hot. The kids' homework is done. All I got left, fill up these guys. Now when you're buying your uh, peppers, it's really important to make sure that the bottoms are even so they stand upright. So I'm just going to spoon this all in here. You can get a surprising amount of filling into each pepper. The last little step is going to grab some mild cheddar. Just kind of stuff that on top, and that's going to melt and ooze into our filling. Oh, it's going to be so good. Scoop into the second one. Stay. Don't those look pretty? And into the oven, 350 degrees for maybe 10 minutes or until the cheese is all nice and crusty on top. So good. I think our peppers are about ready to come out. You see that nice little crust that's formed on the top. Ah, uh, yum. Now there's been several times where I've gone over to the Casey's house. They've invited me to stay for dinner. It's just kind of the person that Karen was. She treated any kid that came over like they were her own kids. It's kind of the strength of her character. Ah. All right, now we're gonna let these cool down so they don't burn my husband. And Karen truly embodied what it means to be beautiful and what it means to be strong. She was a real woman and she passed those qualities on to her daughters who are the most beautiful, strongest women that I have ever met. And those are qualities that are going to take them through the, the rest of their lives. And I am very glad to have known her and uh, am able to show um, this recipe that she has shown me. And I hope you enjoy this. And please strongly consider donating to the Ovarian Cancer Research Center. Uh, whatever your budget will allow, a dollar, ten dollars, however much that you can afford. Um, thank you so much. And, and please keep... Kim and the entire Case family in your prayers and hearts.